This is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing the numerology for the 1st of September 2023. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 17. And if you add the 1 and the 7 together, you get the number 8. The number 8 is the number of prana and breath. And I kind of look outside at all the smoke we're having still with all the climate change and in the area that I'm in in California. And while the smoke was better this year than it was last year. We're still dealing with all these fires that are far north um, of us and in Canada. And so sending out a lot of positive energy to all those people that are in worse shape than me. So everyone stay really safe and remember to breathe because the eight is the, is the number of prana and breath, but it also can bring up a lot of grief, loss, and sadness. And so I think you've noticed at this point, if you've been following my blogs, that um, as we change months, oftentimes in the numerology, things back up a piece. And we back up again today, as we often do when we shift months. And it seems that the message from the universe is not yet. I know that can feel frustrating, but we need to see that such moments are a cosmic checkpoint. The divine simply asks a question. Do we have all the pieces in the right place and order? Sometimes we want to rush ahead when inside can be parts that want to put on the brakes. As challenging as that can be, we are all seeking wholeness and sometimes we forget that we have internal places and spaces that need and want to come along for the ride. That requires us to come back to the planning table and see what might be missing and feel into what might be trying to get our attention. Look for the longing in your heart. Know that there are parts that we might have to, that we might have put into hidden places inside that are now wanting a bit of fresh air and understanding. When we learn to accept all that we have been in our past, that will give us the fuel to become all that we can be in this life. No part of ourselves can be left behind and until we can unconditionally love our many choices and mistakes, we can never be completely whole. Thanks everyone.